Hey guys, we're raising giant imperial moth caterpillars right now. And I wanna show you the life cycle of these beauties. That is a giant bug right there, guys. Look at him. Isn't he cool? He's even got more growing to do. And he's gonna make a great, big, beautiful moth. So um, check this bad boy out right there. A little intimidating. He's so cute. Isn't he cute, guys? Comment down below if you think he's cute. Check out this video where we show you the life cycle of this cool moth. All right, guys, good news. I'm drinking coffee, but outside of that, my imperial moth larvae are starting to pupate. And I wanted to show you real quick. Um, we have our first pupa. It looks to be, I'm guessing a male. Uh, looking at the size of the antenna chamber. You can see the antenna chamber there. Um, the female antenna chamber is going to be a little bit smaller and have a little bit less striations than the male. Um, I've actually never reared this one all the way through, so this is a new one for me. What a large, this is a large pupa right here, guys. I'm excited. Um, it's the first time I've ever reared this species all the way through. Look at the size of the cremaster on this thing. And it, the pupa's alive and well, seems healthy. Um, you can see the, you know, all the, the wing chambers there, the leg chambers right there. There are no, there is no proboscis chamber because, well, Saturnids don't have a proboscis, but you know, that's, we all know that. Um, abdominal segments, you see the thoracic segment there. Of course, the eyes, compound eyes. Um, focus, focus. Compound eyes uh, chamber right there. And so, yeah, um, I'm excited, guys. Uh, Imperial moths are pupating. Interesting thing, when these guys make their pupa, I'm put this is the container I'm putting them in. They they emerge and they have a, a paper towel ramp to, to crawl up, but. Um, when they, most species, when they when they shed their oops, when they shed their caterpillar skin, and get the uh, turn into the chrysalis, the caterpillar skin usually crum crumples up into like a little ball. This one, the the skin stays pretty rigid. I mean, there's nothing inside. It's it's hollow and empty. Um, but I think that's pretty cool. You can actually still see the likeness of the caterpillar uh, of this species. So uh, that's cool. We're, we finally have a pupa. I'm going to throw that out there. Uh, now, um, I had the other caterpillars that were starting to make their pupa. So I've been leave I left them in this container trying to not bother them. The, this is going to look a little gross because I didn't want to disturb them. There's no leaves on there. Because um, if you disturb them when they're trying to make their pupa, then things can go bad. So, here on the bottom, look, there's one right there. Sweet. Let's see. Come here, little man. This looks like it will be... This one could be a female now. I think that's gonna be a male too. Unless the female just has a large, large uh, antenna chamber, I'm not sure. Right. Well, I'm gonna put them there. So now I got two. Thank you. All right, now it gets a little interesting because I have these Caterpillar, oh, that guy doesn't look good. No, that's not good. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, there's a fold here. Let me make sure there's no nobody living inside of there. Nope. 
Okay, so one of the caterpillars virus, and I'll be honest with you, I've had problems with virus with this species, trying to raise them. Um, so now it's just a matter of, okay, here we go. All right, so that feels better. This larva is rigid, it seems good. It's probably gonna make its pupa here anytime uh, soon. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna move him into this container where he'll make his pupa. There's another one here. Yep, he's a twitcher. You can twitch all you want, buddy boy. You're coming with me. All right. Um, man, this thing's not focusing. All right, there we go. There's another larva. So we got two larva, two pupa. And let me see if there's anything else in here. Oh, that's about it. Yeah, we had some virus, guys. Um, the, I gotta clean this out. Well, I don't need to do that with you guys. Um, I'll do that later. But we got four out. I had some virus issues and uh, you know, I've had problems with this species. Uh, you know, they're, they are a little bit more sensitive than some of my, the other things that I've reared. But uh, I'm excited because it looks like we're going to get four pupa. Um, I'll let you guys know when they're done. They do bury themselves in leaf litter. It looks like they, that's where they make their pupa. So the, when the larva is done feeding, they'll crawl down out of the tree into the bottom of uh, some leaf litter. And, or even even under the ground, I'm not sure. I've never found one in the wild, but and then there it will um, make its make its chrysalis like this. So there's not any sort of elaborate. There's no elaborate like silk cocoon like most Saturnids will make. It looks like they just go into the leaf litter and shed their skin and make pupa uh, down the leaf litter. So uh, that's it. Let's check back with you when one of these guys emerges. I got this a little late, but I figured better late than never. Um, about an hour after I showed, took the video of this, replacing these caterpillars that were pre, pre pupil into the container here, this one went ahead and decided to, to, to pupate. And, you know, it shed its caterpillar skin. The skin is there falling off and the pupa is brown. Like, I've never seen one that fresh. It's just brown. Like there eventually it's going to look like this, but and I'll, I'll show you how long it takes for it to turn dark like that. But um, this is the color when it first comes out. Uh, the pupa at this point is, it's got a skin that hasn't hardened yet. So it's very, very fragile. So I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to mess with it. This guy, is yet to make its pupa. So I'll try and keep an eye on it, see if we can see it happening, we'll see. But I'm sure it happens pretty quick. Anyway, just wanted to show you that. Mm -hmm.